Okay, here's a tutorial on doing uh, beat mapping in Logic. Uh, this is the process of um, having any source material, uh, audio, uh, snap to the uh, grid in Logic. Uh, examples of how you'd use this would be for uh, doing remixes um, or dealing with any kind of content that uh, is not uh, at a strict BPM. It's Rubato, for example, and you want to uh, add uh, uh, MIDI elements to it. And uh, this is the way to get uh, that material into Logic's grid. Uh, so the process is this. I've got a drum loop uh, here, and uh, I know that it's uh, it wanders in BPM, and we're going to get this thing uh, locked in uh, to uh, Logic's grid and be able to add uh, some loops and MIDI data that, uh, uh, had we not beat mapped it, would never sync up with this track. Okay, so there's the uh, drum part. I'm just going to um, get this in shape. First thing you want to do is uh, get the air out of the front. Uh, so I'm just going to dial it in uh, like this and really make sure we're starting with a nice clean. I'll drop it on a uh, bar. And uh, we're going to use the... Uh, Go back to sample mode. We're going to use the BPM correlator uh, to figure out what the uh, BPM is uh, right now. That'll be, give us a good starting point. We're going to use the BPM cor uh, correlator to give us an idea of where the BPM is right now. So I'm just going to set up a little loop. Uh, I think it's something two, three, four, one. So it's right here. Two, three, four. Okay, insert the BPM counter here metering and see um, what we have all right 97.9 type that in here and now with the metronome on this should sync but as we wander down here towards measure 10 we're already off so that's what we're going to fix, okay? The process is this. You are going to uh, need some sort of uh, MIDI track below that you can play a quarter note rhythm on. I find it best just to use an EXS instrument with a drum kit and use a side stick or something like that. And I'm just going to uh, hit record and uh, record quarter notes on this MIDI track and uh, tap along with uh, the drum track. So something like this. I'll turn up the metronome after I get going here. Okay, so you would do the entire track. And uh, even though I wasn't exactly on, uh, that's okay. We're um, going to achieve the, um, the purpose here. So what you do is uh, you go into your global tracks, and you're going to configure your global tracks to have not the marker or the signature, but just tempo, right-click again, and beat mapping. That's what I want, tempo and beat mapping. And what this is showing me here is the dry standard kit is uh, clicking along. Here, these are my quarter notes that I played uh, below. Perfect. I click up here on the audio track. This is now showing the uh, transients that Logic has found in this drum track. Okay. So uh, the trick is uh, is to have the uh, quarter notes that I play uh, show up along with the uh, transients. And the way that you do that is just uh, be on your uh, quarter notes here and say detect beats from region and tell logic that you were playing quarter notes and say do it and uh, you can see then that we have a, uh, a tempo map up here that's been created when i click on this audio region now the transients of that audio show up along with my quarter notes perfect that's exactly what i wanted so the process is this you're just going to zoom in here and use control or shift control and drag the tall line to the short line, like that. Tall line to the short line. That's snapping this uh, to the grid. And it's a tedious process, uh, but it's well worth it. You'll see what I mean. 
So go through your entire track, control shift, and just drag this line to the short line. And I'll do that for the uh, entire track here. Okay, so I've gone through the track and I've uh, snapped all the uh, transient lines to my quarter note lines. And I can uh, turn off this uh, click that I made, turn on the metronome, and uh, take a listen to how this locks in. Nice. Back here at measure, measure 10, where things were getting off. Just locked right in. Watch the BPM counter down here. Just going all over the place. And uh, that's what you want. Okay. So what do you do with this? Well, uh, this just allows now any sort of MIDI data that you enter into the project uh, to snap to the grid. So I can put a MIDI loop then uh, with this. I got one here uh, from uh, Spectrosonics. And uh, by uh, just kind of cutting that up and laying it across the uh, timeline here, you'll hear that this just sits really nice. Back here where things were way off. Got to get in here and finish this, but uh, right, that's the idea. I can uh, load a uh, uh, piano track and uh, play along with this. Quantize that. I was playing uh, sixteenths, uh, perhaps. So I can go in here and uh, just fix that uh, little hit right there. Came in a little bit early. No, just quantize it. Quarter. Boom. All right, there it is.